Tonight, a hit and run mystery in the western suburbs that you might think would be solved quickly. A woman severely injured after being hit by an SUV right in front of a police station. CBS 2 Stephen Graves live in River Grove with new video in the case. Stephen. Brad, that video released today is not even from the police station. It's from a nearby intersection. It provides little clues, though, leaving this woman wondering who would leave her lying in the street. When an SUV plowed into 56 year old Teresa Dan, the driver abandoning her in River Grove, it left serious injuries, both physical and mental. Just like I was watching someone cross the street and I had such anxiety that they weren't going to make it across. She's fuzzy on the details of why she was hit that January 3rd night, now staring at her broken pelvis, ribs and legs. Learning how to do things that everybody takes for granted. As she is battling to get back to normal in rehab, her husband is fighting to find this driver. You know, it's own up to your responsibility. Watch closely. You see Teresa walking her dog around 7 that night. Police say there is not a crosswalk here, but the vehicle was speeding. You can't see the SUV hitting her, just a big flash of light. The vehicle is seen seconds later driving away with one headlight out. You don't hit somebody and then leave them lying in the street. The hit and run happened outside the couple's home on Thatcher Avenue. It's right in front of the River Grove Fire and Police Station. You would think in this day and age there's video cameras everywhere. But there was nothing at the station, so Michael Dan requested any video police had, which came from a nearby red light camera. How does something like this happen? It's not my nature to just walk out into a street. Teresa guesses she darted into the road to try and catch her dog when it got off its leash. The Terrier Sharpe mix found its way home that night. Police think because of the calm yet seem seemingly hesitant way this vehicle turned the corner, the driver might not have realized they hit someone. And police believe that vehicle parts that were left here in the street are from a 2016 to 18 Hyundai Tucson, and that video does not give them a shot of the license plate. Brad? So Stephen, what are police saying about the camera situation on their own building? Yeah, we asked about that. They say the cameras on the building point toward doors and parking lots. They don't pick up any part of the street. Well, tonight they're evaluating their system and they say that they're going to make sure they didn't miss anything. But of course, they do urge this person just to come forward, Brad. Okay, our Stephen Graves. Stephen, thank you.